What's up everyone, I'm Eldridge and today we're gonna look at another map in World of Warships. This time we're gonna look at New Dawn. New Dawn is a mid-tier map that starts appearing at around tier 3, but doesn't see frequent play until tier 4. There is a conquest and an encounter version of this map. New Dawn does not have a specific destroyer playground. The middle of the map offers a little bit of cover, but the islands surrounding it are very low and as such make for kind of a bad enclosure and then when you get spotted as a destroyer, you get bombarded from literally everywhere. As such, destroyers have to be very careful in the middle and I would not classify this as a destroyer playground like that on islands or big race. And as such, destroyers on this map take a little bit more of a support role. Real success on this map requires a little bit of a concerted effort between battleships and cruisers. So try to motivate your team to sail in formation, because it is so incredibly beneficial on this map specifically. Try your best to form two equal fleets and push for C3 and H8. Usually this happens by itself, so if you're entirely by yourself in the game, just join the side that has less ships. If the opposing team lemming trains and overcommits to your flank, you should immediately turn around and retreat, and wait for your other flank to come around and encircle the enemy. Also try to urge teammates on your flank to turn around and retreat. In World of Warships it can be very difficult to win against an overwhelming force, but at the same time fighting withdrawals are a very valid tactic. At all times keep an eye out for destroyers coming from the center of the map. When you're playing New Dawn and Encounter, capture your flank's point and then push around the center. But avoid the center cap circle unless you're absolutely certain there are no destroyers hiding there. On the Conquest version of this map, ignore the enemy cap for the most part unless it is a last ditch effort to squeeze out victory at the end. If your other flank is wiped out, fall back to your cap and defend. Or if they retreat because they happened upon a lemming train, go around the center and encircle the opposing team. This map generally plays out very interesting if you're an aircraft carrier because there are so many islands for you to take cover behind. Pick a fleet and follow behind them, usually the weaker one, keeping out of sight as much as possible. Support that flank with your fighters and bombers, and try your best not to get spotted. For this, either hug the map border and stay well behind your team, or make use of one of the many islands on this map. As an aircraft carrier, you should always know your surface detection range. But however you decide to follow your team, be aware of the map. Look out for destroyers and light cruisers that might sneak through and ambush you. If there are no targets for your fighters or there is a high concentration of unspotted destroyers, send your fighters to the center or other areas where destroyers might hide and spot them for your team. Because most of the islands on this map are so flat, it is very difficult for destroyers to hide, so once you spot them, they will have a hard time defending themselves against your team's fire. If you're playing New Dawn and Encounter, if possible, keep one of your fighter squadrons over B to allow your team's light cruisers to hunt destroyers better. If your team rushes on without capping a point, feel free to cap it behind them. If you're playing New Dawn on Conquest, there's nothing else really special to keep in mind. For Destroyers, this map is the first departure from how it used to be before that. This is where you start getting pushed more into the support role, which is actually very common for a lot of the mid to high tier maps. You turn from this amazing everything destroying hunter into a little bit more of a support ship. So you should either join one of your fleets to provide them with smoke or torpedo cover, but although I'm sure I don't have to mention this again, be very careful with those torpedoes. Support them, but don't go crazy. Remember, as a destroyer, you want to survive as long as possible. Alternatively, make your way into the center of the map. Tussle a bit with opposing destroyers who've done the same thing, but definitely make sure that you don't die and that you don't lose too many hit points either. You're gonna need them on this map. Wait for the battle on the flanks to progress a little bit and then go in to see if you can catch a battleship off guard from behind. If you're playing New Dawn and Encounter, try to take the center point early on, but don't get yourself killed over it, it's not worth it. Keep an eye on the points, this map is still relatively small and the points don't too often decide the game, but it never hurts controlling two points anyway, just don't spend too much of your energy on capping points. If you're playing New Dawn on Conquest, I would personally not advise capping at all. Even for a destroyer, it takes quite a bit of time to get from one point to the other, so if you realize that you have to defend, it might be too late by the time you get there. Rather work toward contesting your own base or catching battleships off guard. Even though New Dawn has such a scattered layout, it just tends to play out very similarly and there is not actually that much strategy to it. It's pretty straightforward, attack both flanks, try to push through, when in doubt, return to base. The biggest tip I can give you for this map is to talk to your team. If you have a coherent fleet with a decent formation, you can achieve so much more on this map. And other than that, just brute force your way through the enemy. And hopefully this quick look at Nudon helped you and will give you a bunch of success in the future. If you enjoyed this episode of Donkey Map Tactics, stay tuned for future episodes. 
The next map will probably be Ocean, and because that map is also a little bit more straightforward, I will try to work in some more general tactics and strategies for all the classes. What do you think about New Dawn? Do you like this map, or do you prefer some of the lower tier or some of the higher tier maps? Did you prefer the old version of New Dawn before they changed it? Or do you think the changes made this map better? Tell me about it in the comments. My next World of Warships video will be an awesome episode of Moments of Glory. But until then, I've been Eldritch Master Donkey, and I'll see you in another video.